a topic called as general principles of process of extraction of elements. Whatever elements we use in our daily life, for example, if I am using this gold, also it is not found in the same form as I am wearing it. So we have to actually extract these metals from the ores which are obtained from the earth. So mainly the earth has all these metals or non-metals either in the metallic form or in the combined form. But most of the elements are found in the combined form in the earth. So whatever we can get from the earth is actually called as minerals. So what are minerals? The chemicals or the compounds obtained from the earth. Reduction. For that method, we have to use some different reducing agents. 
agents. How do we decide that? Also we will be told later in the detail. Then the last process is called as refining of metal. Even after doing all these three processes, the metal which we get has certain impurities left. Those impurities are also to be separated and that is called as metal refining. Sulfide can be separated from the rest of the gang material. 
Now, in this case, one problem can happen. If before we shift the froth to the container, if the froth settles down, it should be a problem, no? So what do we do? We add some materials which are called as froth stabilizers. For that matter, we may use some anilin or some cresols, which are some organic compound. They will make the froth to stay longer so that we get time to skim it off and shift it to the other container where it can settle down and we can get our metal sulfide back. Now over here there is another issue. If we have say two metal sulfides, we have say lead sulfide and zinc sulfide, two metal sulfides over here, where maybe I want to only separate lead sulfide and zinc sulfide is my impurity. Now when I do this process, both will come to the froth. I don't want the zinc sulfide to come to the froth. What do I do? I use something called as depressant. Depressants are used like for example sodium cyanide which will react with this zinc sulfide and form a soluble complex of zinc Na2ZnCn4 When this becomes a soluble complex Where will it remain? It will remain in the solution itself and who will go to the froth? It's only lead sulfide which will be sticking to the froth and we can proceed for the rest of the process. This is called as depressing one of the sulfide in the solution. So what is the depressant that we have used in this process? Sodium cyanide. Magnetic 
property of gas and metal or metal compound. So difference in the magnetic property of metal compound or metal and the gas. For example, some of the iron ores like hematite, they are magnetic in nature but the impurities which are present in them like silica is non-magnetic so it will be separated by this simple method of magnetic separation. And 
this you with G, this equation holds good for the silver. So now this silver compound is a soluble complex, but I want only silver or the gold. So what will I do? I will take this compound and treat it with some reducing agent. Like for example, I just write this equation over here. Say I have my silver complex. I'm going to treat it with zinc. So rather four, I'm taking two of it. So what will it form? It will form a complex of zinc having this formula and my gold or silver, whatever I have there, will come out as the solid metal. So over here, if we see, first we leached out silver in the form of a silver complex. Over here, some oxidation happened because silver was in zero oxidation state and it formed silver with one positive state. Later, when we did the reduction procedure using zinc as a reducing agent, zinc replaced silver. Now over here, silver is getting reduced. Silver ions, Ag plus ions are getting reduced to silver. So this process is called as leaching and it's a very important process to get pure metal compound or pure metal. In case of aluminium, we had a metal compound like aluminium oxide. For gold and silver, we'll get pure metal. Concentration of ores. In this module, you will learn about the different methods used for the concentration of ores, which means removal of unwanted materials associated with the ores. Minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and economically are called ores. Ores are found in the earth crust and contain one or more metal compounds along with certain non-metallic and earthy impurities. The extraction of a metal from its ore involves several physical and chemical processes such as the concentration of ore, isolation of metal from the concentrated ore and purification of the metal. All these processes are collectively referred to as metallurgy. In this module, you will learn in detail about the first step of metallurgy, the concentration of ore. Concentrating an ore means getting rid of all the unwanted materials from the ore, which are also referred to as the gang. Depending on the properties of the ore and its gang, the methods used for concentrating an ore may include hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, froth flotation and leaching. Let's first learn in detail about the method of hydraulic washing which is based on the difference in the gravities of the ore and the gang particles. In hydraulic washing, powdered ore is spread on a sloping block having grooves. When a stream of water is allowed to flow over the ore, lighter gang particles get washed away leaving the heavier ore particles behind within the grooves. In magnetic separation, powdered ore is passed over a conveyor belt running over two rollers, one out of which is magnetic. The magnetic particles get attracted to the magnetic roller and travel a distance with the conveyor belt little longer than the non-magnetic particles. Therefore, the non-magnetic particles drop down first forming a heap, whereas the magnetic particles drop down a little later forming a separate heap. The next method used for concentration of ore is the froth flotation method, which is based on the difference in the wetting properties of the ore and the gang particles. The froth flotation method is used exclusively for sulphide ores, where the ore particles are wetted by oil, while the gang particles are wetted by the water. In the froth flotation method, the powdered ore is mixed with water and small amount of fine oil. The resulting mixture is then agitated by blowing compressed air through it. The oil in the mixture forms froth with the air. The froth rises up to the surface containing the ore particles. The gang particles on the other hand settle down in water. Froth is then collected in another container 
where it is washed and dried to obtain the concentrated ore. In the leaching method, the powdered bauxite ore is treated with hot and concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide. The ore dissolves in sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate and silica dissolves to form sodium silicate. The other impurities, however, remain undissolved and are later filtered out. The filtrate containing the sodium aluminate and sodium silicate is further treated with carbon dioxide gas. This leads to the precipitation of the hydrated aluminium oxide leaving behind sodium silicate in the solution. The hydrated aluminium oxide is then filtered out and heated strongly to form pure aluminium oxide. In this module you have learned that naturally occurring chemical substances containing metals are called minerals and those minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and economically are called ores. The extraction of a metal from its ore involves several physical and chemical processes namely concentration of ore, isolation of metal from the concentrated ore and the purification of the metal. Concentration of ore means getting rid of all the unwanted materials which are also referred as gang from the ore. Commonly used methods for the concentration of ores include hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, froth flotation and leaching. Hydraulic washing is based upon the difference in the gravities of the ore and gang particles. Magnetic separation is based on the difference in the magnetic properties of ore and gang particles. Froth flotation process is based on the difference in the wetting properties of the ore and gang particles. Leaching process is used when the ore particles are soluble in such a solvent in which the gang particles cannot dissolve.